Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to just make some stuff tonight. I've got a whole table full of stuff and we're just going to make a hodgepodge of whatever. <laughs> so say hey once you're getting on. I'm just trying to arrange all this stuff on my table. Um, hey guys, how are y'all? Hey Nancy. I got all this paper out here because I'm probably going to make a huge mess. Hey Stephanie. Hey Sylvia. Hey, Amy. Hey, Yvonne and April and Casey. All right, guys. I have got, if you name it, I have it on this table. Um, I'm just going to, um, I feel like I got something in my hair right there. What is that? There's no telling what that is in my hair. Oh, anyway, who knows? Um, uh, now I'm going to be looking at that the whole night. Um, hey, Tambra. Hey, Wanda. Hey Susie. Hey everybody. Um, I've struggled all day with what I'm going to do tonight. Um, cause I always feel like that, that what I do, do that tonight has to be better than it was the last time. And thank you, Suzanne for the stars. Um, but so tonight we are going to, I'm going to just do a hod podge of stuff. I did this back in July and y'all really seem to like it. We did a bunch of uh, 4th of July stuff, like for your tiered trays, little bitty things to put on your tiered trays. Hey, Shaney. Hey, Elizabeth. Thanks for sprinkling. Hey, Sylvia. Thanks for sprinkling. And Tracy. Um, so, I'm just going to, I am going to take a bunch of, I just kind of dug all this stuff out of my stash. Believe me, this table is, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to find everything and I probably aren't going to use half of it. But I have it. So, we're just going to make some stuff, some little fall stuff. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, some fall stuff or some, you know, little Halloween stuff to kind of put on your tier trays. And just kind of show you some ideas of how to do some things. And, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to, you know, put a lot of stuff into it. Just You can just create little things to put on your um, tier trays or you just to set in your house. And with little, you know, Dollar Tree stuff, not much, um, not much money involved at all. And just use what you have. So just to kind of give you some ideas. So um, let's see. The first thing I think I'm going to try is these are my big Jenga blocks from, let me see what I'm digging for. I got cardboard, duct tape, you name it. It's out here on this table. Um, <laughs> I promise. Burlap, I got it all. This just piece of cardboard from Amazon box. I know y'all all recognize that prime tape on there. Hey, everybody that's getting on. So we're just going to kind of make a little something, just a bunch of little somethings probably. Um, we did it in July and y'all really seem to like it. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to kind of put some together some stuff and we'll just see what we can come up with. Okay. All right. So I'm just taking these little, these are the big Jenga blocks. These are the little ones, okay? So you see the difference. These are the ones from Dollar Tree. These are the ones I get at Five Below, or you can get them at Dollar General or any, anywhere like that. I think Walmart has them, but I don't know if they have the generic brand. The real Jenga blocks have Jenga, like, burned into the sides, so they all say Jenga on them. Um, so, um, so I'm just going to take, this is my Baby Shark glue gun, because this is my big glue gun. <laughs> so see the difference? Cause I got the Sure Bonder wood glue, um, gun, glue sticks, and I had to have a mini gun, so um, I had to go to Michael's and buy me just a little cheap, uh, hey Terry, a little cheap uh, glue gun to hold my little mini, uh, mini sticks, cause they're the small sticks. So I'm just gluing them together. I'm gonna make me kind of a frame, and I didn't get that one real straight, but it'll be okay. Um, so I'm just going, just gluing these together, but you could use regular hot glue to hold this. You don't really need the wood, but since I have it, I'm just using it. So, um, hey, Monica and Teresa. Hey, Barbara, welcome since you're new. Now, Nancy, the baby shark glue gun's coming out again, but I won't sing. So I got that. I just, I'm making like a frame, okay? So I'm just gluing them together. Like I said, hot regular hot glue would work. It's not like you're gonna have it outside, but I just grabbed my baby shark just so I can tease y'all with it and make you sing the song all night. That's just what I call it. The these big blocks, I get them from five below. They're the tumbling, they call them jumbling tower blocks. And this whole box, it has 48, 
and it's five dollars and you can get them at dollar uh, dollar general has them too um you got your trucks and gnomes and tags today good carly i'm glad i can't wait to see what you do with them okay so i just made like a little frame so i'm making kind of like a little shadow box thing don't know what i'm gonna put in it yet we're gonna figure that out so i got i just got some amazon prime cardboard <laughs> i get a lot of these boxes so i make use of what i have and i'm basically oh my cart's way over here what happened i was too busy piling stuff on my table it's gonna take me a while to get this mess cleaned up <laughs> after this is over walmart has that brand too okay good that's good to know because i haven't ever looked at look for them at walmart um that's good to know i wonder how much they are at walmart you was in the first five below today did you find the paint brushes where's my i can't my, i got everything but my scissors Watching from Utah. Couldn't miss my friend. Oh, you're sweet, Lori. Okay. Um, so, I'm basically just going to cut out my cardboard. So, I'm going to make like a little back for my little Santa box. But, um, I know some of y'all probably saw the 4th of July. Hey, Sandy from um, Texas. Um, we just took a bunch of stuff and just kind of made a whole bunch of little, little bitty somethings to put on your tear tray or just wherever. Oh, yeah, you need to go to Five Below. I don't even have a place to set anything. This this area that y'all see right here is the only clear spot on the table. Everything else is, like, just piled up high. Uh, what am I making? I'm just making some little things to set about your house, or you can set them on your tear tray, and I'm just kind of showing y'all how to do it kind of inexpensive. Not You know, you don't have to go out and buy all this expensive stuff to go on your tiered trays or whatever. Um, you can just make with what you have. I just dug out a whole bunch of stuff out of my stash, and that's what we're making. So I'm going to paint this or stain it. Let's stain it. I think I'm going to stain it. Let's see. What color? What color? I got paint out here for days. Okay, we're going to do this color. Oh, thank you, Maddie. This is um, Espresso Bean by Anita's. That's just one of my colors. It's kind of like burnt umber. It's not nearly as, um, I don't know. It's just got a dear, it's, it's really close to it. And I'm putting a little, I put a water on my paintbrush and I'm just kind of making my little, my little mud puddle there so I can just stain over my blocks and talk to y'all while I stain. This espresso bean, I guess, doesn't have as much of a um, red to it. Not that burnt umber's red, but it doesn't have, um, it's, a, it's more of a dark brown undertone than the red undertone. I didn't get nearly enough paint. I got two cups of water out here tonight because I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of winging it with y'all because I'm just going to throw some stuff together and don't really have any plans of what I'm doing. We're just going to make some cute stuff for fall. I have a bunch of little things that we could put in here and we're going to make some different ones too with jingle blocks or whatever so i'm just kind of dry brushing well not dry brushing <laughs> staining with this watered down paint my little blocks oh the twirly yeah and i have some too that aren't the twirly but the tips are the same i have some that's got some little jewels in them i don't think i have any out that's one thing i don't have on my table or those <laughs> but they're my favorite You've watched me about five times and everything I make is awesome. Well, I try, um, and I always feel like, oh, gosh, I got to overdo what I did last time. Like, you know, make it that much better. But tonight, I said, well, you know, I'm just going to, we're just going to make some little stuff. Okay, so, got that about done. Then we're going to make our back for it because it'll dry really fast. It soaks into that wood. And you could do this any color. You could do it gray. You could do it white. You could do it any color acrylic paint you have. Just water it down and stain it. Um, I've done it with several different colors in the past. And it's really pretty if, when you do it a color. Okay. So, I'm going to kind of set that to the side. While that dries, we're going to work on our little, my little cardboard I cut. So, we're going to make like a little frame. I'm going to set this over here and kind of let it dry. I'm, I'm putting my apron on because I know I'm probably going to be super messy. New watching you. Oh, thank you, Ruth. I'm glad you're here. 
Okay, so let me think about what I'm going to put in here. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to put in there. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to take this little piece of cardboard. I know y'all probably all have cardboard. Um, let's see what we're going to do to it. I mean, I have fabric. I have scrapbook paper. I have everything out here. Just trying to think of what I'm going to do. These are a tip for y'all. I like to go to Goodwill when they have their half off day on Sunday. And I'll go and buy some men's plaid shirts. And I will cut all the seams off and tear the, you know, just have the fabric. Like this was a sleeve probably. And this, the print's the same as the fur on the back. So if you use it for ribbons and stuff, it's the same. Because most fabric not, is not that way. It's like white on one side and, and some, you know, on the other. It has, um, I'm going to use this. Um, it has like that washed out look. So I know y'all probably like Harlequin. I love Harlequin print. Um, I don't know what, have you, do y'all know what that McKenzie's Child stuff is? I've seen a lot of people talking about that. But I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it. But I know they have some kind of checkerboard pattern that everybody's like real crazy about. Hey, Pauline. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I know it's a delay, so I'm just going to give y'all a second. Okay. Uh-oh. Nancy, what you talking about? Go. Oh, you're good. We don't have half all day. Ours does on Sundays. A certain color tag is half off. So I'll wait to that day. And then I go and um, get stuff that's that color tag most of the time. Um, so there's my little paper. And I'm just, I'm probably just going to hot glue it on here. And so it'll stick. I'm telling y'all, I'm just kind of winging this as I go. Just like if I was here crafting by myself and y'all are here with me. Oh, you never heard of it? Okay. Okay, so now my paper's on there. My little Amazon box. <laughs> so I've just seen a lot of people say that, that some kind of print that's the... Um, yeah, it's very expensive, I think. But it's that um, Mackenzie's Child is what it's called. Is real expensive okay i just see a lot of people trying to duplicate it and i know that one of their prints is some kind of uh, harlequin checkerboard something okay so let me let that let me wipe this off i've got to move my paper towel roll because i'll show y'all why because it's on the, my husband mounted it right here at my table well i get up 100 times a day and this is what happens because i hit it with my leg and so it unroll it unrolls and so um, I, I had to get up and go around this table all day, turning on, you know, the Glowforge and stuff. And, um, <laughs> and so it unrolls. I'm going to have to get him to move it to this side and then I'll be reaching over here and be on the other side. Five below. Oh, you said go. Okay. I didn't know what was happening. Oh, it's very expensive. Okay. I'm going to have to look it up then because I see a lot of people trying to duplicate it. So I'm just going to take my little cardboard and my little shadow box that we made with Jingle Blocks. And you could do this with the little ones. You could just make a different shape frame. Um, and we're going to just hot glue this right on here. And then we got to make something to put in our shadow box. I'm just going to make a bunch of different little things. I have a different color off every day. Hmm, every day. Ours is only on Sunday. I don't know if maybe they, they, um, it's different, different places, but that's what ours is. Okay. So it's kind of crooked because one of my blocks is crooked, but there's our little shadow box. Isn't it cute? See, it's like, you can see it's kind of deep. You can make a little try out of it if you wanted to. So we are going to, now I'm going to think of, I'm telling y'all, I've got wood, rounds i've got beads i've got everything out here <laughs> it's gonna be fun to clean up in the morning but oh well let's see i wonder if these will fit in there these little round these are like little round um little round round to it or whatever you want to call them they're just wood round circles you know think of it like this a milk cap a bottle cap a Coca-Cola cap, whatever you want to 
whatever you want to use. Just use what you have. Like I said, I just ran, rummaged through a bunch of my stuff, and I have a bunch of stuff, y'all. Um, and I just basically just threw some stuff on the tape. Wood disc, yeah. Wood nickels, maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to give it some coat of orange. This is Terracotta by Anita's. I love their paint. I need to go to Hobby Lobby when they have it on sale and get some more. But you paint whatever you like. Like I said, you could use a milk cap, a bottle cap. You could cut out a circle. You don't even have to have this little wood circle. You could use those little bitty pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And I meant to grab mine, and they're over there. And I meant to grab them, and I did not. But anyway, I got enough stuff on this table, y'all. It's, it's ridiculous <laughs> at the stuff that I got out. Because you never know. You never know what you might need, and I can't just jump up and um, grab it while y'all are on. So I try to have it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a second. Coca-Cola cap, <laughs> your accent is as thick as mine. That's what everybody says. But I'm just talking, I don't even realize I have a, I guess I do know I have an accent, but I'm not even gonna paint the back, I'm just painting the front. Because you're not even going to see it. Because we're about to glue it right on there. Hello from Wisconsin. You love hearing me say y'all. I know I feel like I say it a lot. But it's just how we talk down here. I don't think anything about it really. Because it's just. I'm going to help it dry a little. So. Let's see. What if I took some. I'm going to get a baby wipe. Nancy, my cart's going to break down like yours did because it's so full of stuff right now. I need to clean it out. Amazon has bags of them. Yeah, these, I want to say these came from like Hobby Lobby or something. I don't even know what I even have them in here for. And I'm going to take a little of my watered down muddy water. And I'm just going to kind of brush it over it a little bit just to give it a little di dimension. A little aging kind of looking. Y'all know where I'm going with this? <laughs> hey from Kentucky, Katie. Y'all is a southern thing, yes. And then I'm going to glue it down here in the bottom. And this one has like a little divot in the top. Like you can see, maybe. It's like, it's like it's got like a little chip in it or something. So I'm going to use that part. And we're going to make a little stem. And I'm just going to glue him down in my little box that I made. And let him set up and I'll show him to you. So that's what we have so far. I love that orange against that that ch that uh, Harlequin print. Isn't that pretty? And then, let's see. I got sticks too, you guys. Don't even, don't think I don't have it all in here on this table. Because I promise you, I do. <sighs> okay. So I got a little bitty stick. And we're going to make us a little pumpkin. Let me just make sure the stem's not too long. Put a, a little bitty titch of glue. Not even enough to amount to anything, really. Put some on the back. Y'all, I got tickled the other night. I know, Ale I think Alexis is on. I got tickled the other night because, do y'all do that too when you use your glue gun? Do y'all like swirl it around and around to get those little, to get those little uh, strings off your glue gun? She said, every time I do that, I feel like I'm making cotton candy. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I've never thought about it that way. But yeah, you feel like you're making cotton candy because you're trying to get the glue strings off of it and around your gun. Okay, so that's what I have. There's my little stem. I don't know if y'all can see it. My little, my little pumpkin. He's round, but he's okay. It's a pumpkin. And I don't have it. I, I could put some moss in the bottom, but I don't have my moss out here. Okay, so I am going to take, this is my bag. I, do y'all have this in y'all's craft room? I have a bag of, this is Hodge, my hodgepodge bag. It's like a bag of just stuff and pieces and parts of stuff. I actually have a bin that's kind of like a miscellaneous bin, I guess I would call it. And if something don't go a particular place, let me see what I was in here. Then I just throw it in that bin. Like my moss is in there. 
and all that. So I'm just going to make me a little bitty, I'm gonna try to make a little bitty bitty faux bow or some kind of something with this little piece, one piece of raffia. I can handle one piece of raffia. You have a shoe box of pieces. I do too, like just, you know, if it doesn't go, like I have bins for wood, I have bins for beads, I have bins for Christmas, Halloween, all that kind of stuff. And I just, I have that bin. And if it doesn't fit in any of those categories, I just throw it in that little bin. It's like, okay, I'll look at it later. I like making miniature stuff. I don't know about y'all, but I do. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always liked little bitty miniature things. Okay. So look, it's a little bitty, <laughs> it's a little bitty piece of raffia. That doesn't give me rage, but if I start making something big with the raffia, it will. And getting out all my raffia. Okay. I'm tame it to go somewhere. Okay. So there's my little box. You can see the little raffia on the little stick, little bitty stick stem. I'm going to grab this moss. Hang on. It's in this bin right here. I'm not gone too far, even though I hate to get this mess out because it makes such a mess. Hey, Angela. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of moss and I'm going to it in the bottom and that's going to kind of cover it up where you really don't see um, that it's round on the bottom so i'm just going to cut a little bit off and then we're going to see what we're going to make next let's see because i don't even know guys let's see i'm going to put some hot glue down here just have fun with it like if like i said if i was just in here creating stuff this is what i would do i would just have a big pile of mess and i'd just start going to town okay that's probably what y'all do too you see look how cute that is i can get it to look how cute it's like a little pumpkin it's got the little moss in there and that's just you have moss rage i do too and I usually keep it in a Ziploc bag. This one just hasn't made it in the Ziploc bag yet. Um, you got your gnome and all your attachments. Um, I'm gonna, I hope I'm gonna make some more attachments. I just have not had a chance to do it. But there's my, you can see my Harlequin at the top. Let me cut that off. Okay, so there's something we can put on our little tear tray. And it's just cute. Or you can set it on your shelf, set it anywhere in your house. But that's just so cute. I mean, just kind of let your mind just wander and say, oh, what can I put in that little box? What can I do with that? So now let's see what we're going to get into now. Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to break out some more of these. Now there's 48 in this box for $5. So just have fun. Do a bunch of stuff. Make a bunch of stuff. Um just little stuff to go on your tiered trays or whatever. I'm trying not to knock everything off the table. Okay, so let's see what I'm going to do now. I think I'm just going to line them up. And see, these will stand on their own. So if you make... Uh, did I make the box? I did. I made it with um, these Jenga blocks right here. The big Jenga blocks. Just put one and then I glued those two on like that. Easy peasy. I new stuff. I just kind of rearranged it on the shelves back here. I just kind of, I got tired of looking at it. So um, it looked kind of cluttered. You could put, yes, you could put a magnet on the back for the fridge. See, there y'all go. Y'all are, y'all are thinking outside the box and I got to get another wood glue stick. Hold on tight. And fa Facebook's probably going to snap that picture right there and put on my thumbnail for my video. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst, always the worst picture of the video. It's like, oh my goodness. So I'm just going to take four of them. And I think I'm just going to glue them together and make us a little, like a sign, I guess you would say. We're going to put something on it. Looking for DG Jingle Blocks. And they're hard to find. Hmm. Well, a lot of crafters are doing stuff with them too. Um, but somebody said Walmart has this brand. Here's the box. They're just like the generic Jenga blocks. Um, the Jenga, the real Jenga has Jenga burned in the side of them. So 
Um, you could use them and you could just, you, you know, sand it off or whatever. <laughs> Got your Nauman truck in the mail. Yay, Michelle. Oh, I could spell out fall. Yep. Okay. I got Scrabble tiles too. <laughs> you could write it with a paint marker. Okay, so here's our little, those, I just glued four together with hot glue. No big deal. So let's see. Um, oh, I know what it was I wanted to do. So let's paint this one. Like I said, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Um, like if I was just sitting in here on a rainy Sunday, this is what I'd probably be doing. Just trying to come up with stuff to do or something. Something out of my brain from way back somewhere. So I'm just painting it. This is just orange. It's deco art, bright orange. But you paint it any color you want. Found that brand at Tuesday mornings. Oh yeah, yeah you could look there too. Any store like that. And I tell you, Goodwill has them too. Cause you know, these blocks get thrown in kids' closets and then you know, the next thing you know, they're scooped up and gone to the Goodwill or a garage sale or something. There's a glue, a glue string in my paint. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow when I come in here to start working, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be wanting to just rake all this off in the garbage because <laughs> this table is going to be a hot mess after I get done. That's the kind of crafting you do most of the time. Yeah, me too. I just, sometimes I just want to sit here and mindlessly just make something and kind of make something out of nothing sometimes. If you just, like I said, I use that cardboard for an Amazon box. Um, use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of expensive stuff. You can just use what you have. And that's what I did. I just dug out a bunch of stuff. <laughs> like I went out in the garage and my husband said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to get a piece of cardboard off that Amazon box that came today. <laughs> so I cut off the side. It's like my, my kids know what they can and can't throw away. All right, so I just gave that a good coat of orange. I'm going to let that dry a minute. And I'm going to work on what I'm going to put on them. Uh, they're here somewhere. Like I said, I got so much stuff, y'all don't even know. Oh, here they are. They're on this side. Okay, so I'm going to use my little split balls again um for this one because i kind of had this in my mind what i wanted to do with this um you could use black buttons for this um you could use like i said you could use a bottle cap you could use cut out a piece of fabric cut out a piece of scrapbook paper i don't have my hot my heat gun um you could cut out whatever you wanted to i blew on it like that's gonna help so i'm gonna get out my black and I'm going to paint this black. Let's see. Hobby Lobby has Scrabble tiles too. Yes, and Walmart does too. Walmart has little tiles. They're not exactly the Scrabble, but they are, um, they are, um, little, little letter tiles. I think the last time I used them, I think I said, told y'all that. And then people went and got them and did it on the, did the craft and put it in the group. Okay. Y'all are blowing me away in the group. Some of that, whoo, some of that stuff is unbelievable. What y'all do? Look at my hands. I'm gonna be so messy. Y'all are so funny. Okay, so I'm letting my little, my little split, split bead thing, whatever it is, dry. But like I said, you could use my buttons. Dollar Tree sells a little container of buttons. That's where I've gotten a lot of mine. Um, you could use buttons, whatever you have. Doesn't matter. Just, just use what you have. I need my heat gun. The blue, oh yeah, the blue buffalo print inside the box. Absolutely, I would use that. I sure, I didn't even thought about that being blue on the inside. That's kind of cool. It's drying. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna make another one of these while that's drying. Cause we're gonna do Hey, Eva from Arkansas. That's not too far from me. We're going to glue another set of these together while we're waiting for that to dry. Just sold your house. I found two Scrabble games. Awesome. See, sometimes I always look at Goodwill for them, even though I have an overabundance of tiles that I bought on Amazon. Oh, good. You, Lou, you found the, the um, where they buy the cash register? That's where I always find them is by the cash register. 
the little this a little container of buttons and sometimes they're colored and sometimes they're black did your heat no I didn't get it out I don't even know where I put it on this table if I if I um if I had it over here <laughs> there's so much stuff I'll end up burning something okay and I'm gonna glue it to the table I've done that a lot on lives. I've glued stuff to the table several times. Calling your mom needs the heat gun. Yeah, he's not here, Judy. He is at his house in Arkansas. Hey, Kim, glad you caught me live too. Hey, Marianne. Okay, so I'm just, I made another one while the orange one's drying and it has paper stuck to the back cause I glued it to my paper. <laughs> But I'm just, we're just crafting. Okay, so now my little, if I can hold on to it, my little half split, it's called a split ball is what it's called. And I missed a spot, but it's, it's a ball that's cut in half. So y'all seen me use it before. But like I said, use buttons, use a bottle cap, and use what you have. So I'm going to glue him down with my itty bitty baby shark glue gun. Get him to stay right there. And I know y'all thinking, what in the world is she going to do with that? <laughs> Let's see if I have... I don't even want to use that white marker because I'm scared to death. It's going to make... It's going to make a... It's going to make a mess on my project. I'm scared of it now. But my black one's fine. Let's see. Where's my black one? Here it is. I don't know if this is going to be too thick or not. Eh... It might be too fat. Where's my Sharpie? Sharpie! Here he is. Miniature 3D cutouts, maybe like... Oh, I missed a comment. I had to go back and look at the comments. Okay, so there's my little ball. And y'all watch what I'm going to do to it. If I can get it to look right. How to turn it. Okay, y'all watch. Look at what he turned into. <laughs> it, oh, somebody said, Lisa is a spider. How'd you know? I had six legs. I had to make eight. Hey, Linda, I'm just, we're just playing and making stuff out of pretty much almost nothing. Daddy long legs. That's right. Even though I don't like them, but I'm making one. So I'm going to take the end of this paintbrush and I just dipped it in a little bit of white paint because I'm scared to use my paint pen. Because the last time I used it, it leaked all over. And there's his little eyes. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. I had in my mind what I wanted to do with this, so I, I already got these out. Let's see how I can get them on here. So these are my Scrabble tiles. See? And I'm going to spell out eek. Let's see if I can get them fixed. Y'all think the Scrabble tiles will look okay? Let's see. Or should I just write it on there? Isn't that cute? Cute little spider. <laughs> yeah, when they're like this, they're cute, but when they're real, they're not. It's like, oh. So should I put this, the Scrabble tiles or just write it on there? I don't have good handwriting, guys. It's terrible. Oh, thank you, Kathy. You're so sweet. My brain doesn't work like that. I know y'all are behind in the comments. It looks great with the tiles. Yeah, these are good for tear trays. Okay, everybody says tiles. I'll put the tiles on. So I'm going to glue those on. That's why I like these little Jenga blocks so much because you can just do so much with them. And they're real wood. They're not going anywhere. Okay. 
tiles are cute. Smudge them up with paint. Okay. Look how cute. <laughs> Look at these little eyeballs. <laughs> I'm trying to get them to dry before I smudge them. Okay. So let's see what I can do now. Smudge them up a little bit. Some black. Is this what y'all do? Y'all just kind of get in your room and just kind of do stuff or wherever your space is. I'm just trying to go around the edge of the tiles maybe and give it a little something, something. A little something, something. I don't know if I like it or not, but maybe it'll look better when I get done. Because they don't, they kind of do look kind of clean. My paintbrush is chipping paint off the handle everywhere. Some of my paintbrushes I've had forever. Okay, so I just kind of run, ran my paintbrush around the um, edge. <laughs> Linda, you're so funny. Okay, but see how easy it is? I mean, it's, it's not really hard, I promise. Okay, so let's see. I've got, see, I've got fabric strips out here. Let's see what we can make to go with it. Let's see. I'm going to do, I'm just going to tear it like that. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot and we're going to stick it at the corner. I think, I think I'm going to actually cut it in half, do that on the orange too. Oh, okay, around the sides. Yeah, I need to do that on the sides. Let's see, I probably, sorry to cut it so short, I can't get it in tight and not. But you know what? We'll just find something in this pile of mess over here, some raffia, and tie around it and make us a little cute bow. Oh yeah, they, they have the tiles at Walmart where the little wood stuff and all the little embellishment stuff is. They do have them. They're not exactly Scrabble, but they have letter tiles. And Hobby Lobby, but I got mine on Amazon. I got a bag of 500, enough to last me a lifetime. Okay. I just took a piece of raffia. That was, I cut it short. I just put strips together and then I'm just kind of Fluffing it out like so. Let me go around the edge of my. I do this with a stamp pad too. I tell you what. Hang on. <laughs> Let me get my stamp pad. Don't go nowhere. Black. Here we go. I'll show y'all a little trick. I've got my on Amazon too. Yes, I like using them too. So I had this little bitty set of stamps. I got it. Hobby Lobby, I think, for a little of nothing. And then I just take it and I run it around the edge like that. Thank you for whoever said that because I didn't even think about it. And I should have done that to the Scrabble tiles, but they're so slick. I don't know if it would stay on there or not. This just gives it a little bit of dimension on the edge. It kind of makes it stand out. Okay, so look how cute that is. Y'all can see it. Just kind of makes the edges stand out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little bow and we're gonna hot glue this to the sides. And the Jenga kind of gives it a, that little shiplap look too. And letter tiles and they out of six packs. I got eyes. <laughs> I know, it's like I worry, like, oh, am I gonna have enough E's or the vowels? Okay, that one's too long. I'm just kind of giving it a haircut. Okay, look how, look how stinking cute that is, guys. That is so cute. Look at it. Isn't that just adorable? I'll let y'all see it up close. It's cute. <laughs> Does that mean that would be perfect just to set on your tiered tray or set on your... um um. Anywhere in your house, in your kitchen. That is cute. And your kids could help you do this. Grandkids, that's just too super cute. 
So there's that one. I'm going to set it right there so it won't be on the table to be out of the way. All right, so now we got this one that we made. Um, okay, I'm going to break these out in a second <laughs> because I just thought of something. Um, all right, so I'm going to use some scrapbook paper on this one. I have lots of scrapbook paper. I cut stuff out and I save what's left. Um, thank you, Mary. Thank y'all. Um, I just like getting in here and just letting the creative juices flow, I guess you would say. Um, not really having anything in mind that I'm going to do. Of course, the spider just kind of came to me earlier. Um, but uh, I'm going to paint the edges of this one black. Because we're going to put some scrapbook paper on it. Oh, thank you for the stars. You missed the first one. Oh, here's the first one. It's got a little pumpkin in it. It's just a little round piece of wood, and I put a little stick in there and some moss and some scrapbook paper. And that was all it was. Just we're just I'm just kind of making some little little somethings to go in your tear trays or just in your house or wherever. Frankenstein. Oh yeah, that would be good. I don't know if I have any. I got every color out here but green. I got orange. I got lime green. And did y'all see the video that I did? Uh, it was a pre-recorded video that I did, actually, of the Jenga Block pumpkins. I may have to make one of those tonight so I can show somebody may not have seen it of how easy they are. Okay, so I'm going to set down that down and let that dry. And I'll show y'all that real quick. Um, I have to move stuff to find stuff because I got so much mess on this table. But that's the fun part because I'm just digging and, and creating. Can you put all these together? Yeah, I'll put them all together. I used to take a picture when I'm done too. Okay, so if you didn't see my pre-recorded video, um, so you take three Jenga blocks. So these are the little ones. And you're going to glue them. Let me just glue them and I'll show you. Where did I get the wood block? I made it with Jenga blocks. Let's see. So you're going to glue one flat, one like this, and then one flat. I know the spider was too stinking cute. I love using those split balls. I absolutely love using them for everything. Oh, here's so sweet. Okay, so this is the first. I glued it to the table again. This is the first step, okay? So you're going to glue one flat, one like this. You're going to glue them just like that, okay? See? And then you're going to do another piece just like that. Same exact way. Yeah, we all have a mess. I mean, whew. Kathy, I get them on Amazon. Um, this time I bought them. I don't even have the bag on the table. This time I bought them. They had three different sizes. They had the little ones and the mediums, and they had big ones. Cute. The Amazon's where I got the split balls. Just look up. Um, this glue gun's wanting to drip. Um... Just type in uh, wood split balls and they'll come up. And the, mm, I think these maybe, I don't know, I think they're 20 millimeters because it didn't say. And then it came with three sizes, the one I bought, but I know they have them. Like they have that size, that size, and then they have these little baby size. And I like to use all of them on lots of stuff. Okay, so now you've got one piece like this, and then you have another piece like that, okay? So we're gonna stand them up together. And like I said, I have a, a pre-recorded video on my page if you wanna go watch it. It's kinda went viral, but. <laughs> yes, we could do that, Heather. We could do the uh, uh, list, maybe. That would be fun. And sometimes, to be honest, guys, people go, oh, I wanna know what you're doing tonight so I can craft with you. 
Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing till an hour before I go on live sometimes. So this next one, I'm gonna glue it and then I'll show it to you. I gotta glue, you gotta glue, put glue on both sides, right at the edge, it doesn't take much. Cause I have to kind of line it up in a hurry. Cause it dries, it sets up pretty quick. Okay. Hmm. Y'all are sweet. That one kind of went wonky on me, but it's okay. Thank you, Pat. You made the Jenga block pumpkins with your kids? I know a lot of people have made them and put them in the group. Okay, so then I took, I had that piece, and then I had that piece. And then I just took one and glued it like that. That kind of gives you a better way to, to, see, to see how I did it. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I mean, these are very, very simple. Yeah, I think that video I did, I think it's gotten like 70,000 views or something. I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. It's just the simple things to me. It's the simple things that make life grand. Okay. So then I glued one on the other side. So it looks like this. I got glue, hot glue strings everywhere. Like that. Okay. So then what you do is, let me find my, my sticks. I don't really have a stick big enough for this one, but we'll make it work. Okay, so I just broke a piece off and I guess I could paint it first. What color are we gonna paint this one? Let's paint, I don't have a, this is Mustard by Anita's and I'm gonna paint it that color because I have a blue one, I have a orange one. Um, all my paint brushes are in my... Yeah, I could use cinnamon sticks. I was going to do something with cinnamon sticks one time. And I went to Walmart to get some. Those little things, they're proud of them. You have a wonderful teaching, teaching mannerism. Thank you. You're so sweet. I just like to show people stuff. And I want people to get as excited about it as I am. Because I just... I, when people... When you create and you use your mind to make something... You, may, you ended up making 40, 8, 40, 84 pumpkins. Goodness gracious. Somebody, was it you, Janice, that made some for your church or something and you put them all in the church? Was it you that did that? What about one of the future Christmas things that you made? Yeah, that's coming, guys. Christmas is coming. I'm working really hard to get a bunch of Christmas stuff cut. And the hardest part of all of that is deciding what to put out because <laughs> I like all of the Christmas stuff and um, I've pretty much decided on my items I'm going to put out and um, I'm just not saying I won't add to it <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited about it and I can't wait for y'all to see it. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has cinnamon sticks. What? I've never seen them at Dollar Tree. Y'all are telling me. Oh, okay, Janice. So you had to make them for other people. Yeah, somebody in the group made them for their church and they put them all around their church or something. And I think maybe the Sunday school kids made them too or something. I don't, I don't remember. But I was like, wow. Make a pile with your name on it. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm just painting that one mustard yellow because I don't have one that color. Um, then we're going to take our stick. I got to get out that darn moss again. I can't show you, Crystal. Okay. I'm just going to put a bunch of glue on my stick. And then I'm going to hold it to one side because, you know, in the middle, this stick's really small. The ethnic section of the grocery store. I, I did. I went to Walmart in the spice section and looked at them and I was like, oh my gosh, they're proud of those things. They are so super proud. So if you hold it like this and let it dry, it's a lot easier. 3D pumpkin you have on the top. The three pumpkin picture. Yes, that was a place map from Hobby Lobby that was on sale in the spring section. And then the piece on... 
the piece on this side is a the piece of the cookie sheet from Dollar Tree, and then the piece on this side, it was a piece of cardboard, and I took off one side of the cardboard, and you had that wavy stuff in the middle. That's all that is, and it's a reverse canvas. And there's my pumpkin. He's got a super long stem. I don't know why I did it that long, but I did. And I just took off my stem, but I'll glue him back on. Okay. So we're just playing and having a good old time. Let's see. Now let that set up. Got mustard all over my fingers too. Split half balls. I know that sounds terrible, but yeah, they don't have a hole. They just split, split balls. That should come up on Amazon. Okay, so then you have this little pumpkin and it looks like this. So if you want to screenshot it, now's your time. So you can know the pattern, but there's a video if you want to go look on my page for the video. So that's what it looks like. So you can do two like this, one in the middle, and then two on the sides, and then put those pieces together. Okay, so then my moss. I'm gonna take a little bit of this moss, and I only pull out a little bit at a time, guys, because y'all know this stuff will go, and it'll be, it'll be everywhere before you know it. And I'm just gonna stick some down in the hole, some glue, and then poke that down in there. And I'm gonna kind of give it a little haircut. Pretend like I'm Barber, <laughs> but I'm not that either. <laughs> oh. And there you have a little pumpkin like that. And if you make some out of this one, of course, they're gonna be bigger. So you can have big ones and you can have small ones. Yeah, the Cherie, these come from, or whoever Cherie was replying to, they came from Five Below, but you can get them at, somebody said Walmart has this brand, and Dollar uh, Dollar General, I know they have them too, and look in your Goodwill when you go, they have them too. Did you make that silver stand with the beads on the bottom? Yes, this, that's a flower pot, and it's turned upside down, and the top is the saucer. And then there's beads around. There's these. These are all the way around the bottom, just like that. The little split, split beads. And then I just painted it. Yeah, that's what that is. It's a little flower pot turned upside down with the saucer. So isn't that cute? Okay, we're gonna let that dry. Now we're gonna go back to. Whew, it's a hot mess in here. Go back to this guy. So there's my four jingle blocks, and I just painted the sides. And I forgot what I was doing. Oh. I know what I was doing. Okay, I think I'm going to do... Let's do black and white polka dot. Ooh, does that make y'all dizzy looking at that? It kind of looks busy on the camera. Okay. So, guys, when I do this, and I know this may be simple to tell some people, but some people don't think about it. So, when you're going to put something on, a, on you know, on, take your paper and you're going to cut something out, don't, don't lay it in the middle of your paper like that. I tell my kids this all the time when they do stuff. Go to the very edge like that, and then you have all this paper to use. So don't use your whole, um, you just shake your head when I, you, <laughs> you're so funny, Lou. I just do. I just, my brain just, I see stuff all the time, and I just look at that and go, oh, I can't find my pencil. There it is. Um, but I just, Think up stuff, but like that little tip right there, I just see people sometimes on crafting videos and they'll go right in the middle of the paper and trace it out. And I'm like, no, you're wasting that whole piece of paper. Like, see there, I used that piece there, but I went to the corner. Um, don't waste your whole piece of paper because I put it back in my little drawer over here and I save it for something else. So see, all I used was that. Now I have that whole piece still. But you know, people do that, and I'm like, no, don't do that. Even though it was 25 cents, we're just not going to waste it. Because I'll use it for, I'll need it one day for another project, and I'll dig that puppy right back out. Use it for something else. And I'm just hot gluing this on. I'm not even Mod Podging it. 
Oh, I was showing the snowman the first time you came and saw me. <laughs> We're going to make some more snowman, y'all. Don't just wait. It's coming. We're going to start sprinkling in some Christmas stuff. Okay. So here's my jingle blocks. That's one side. I should have painted that side, but anyway. So then I just put scrapbook paper on that. Okay. Um, now, here's the fun part. I showed y'all these the other night, and I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to see if we can get it to work. Maybe. So, y'all are fixing it. A cuteness alert. Cuteness alert. Y'all saw them the other night on that, on that video. And you know I had to have the candy corn. Had to have the candy corn. Aren't they so... Look at their little faces. Aren't they just too stinking cute? I got them at Walmart. In case you were wanting to know, now I gotta figure out which ones I wanna use because their faces are different. Okay. <laughs> They're just so happy. How can you not look at that and be happy? Some people don't like candy corn. Okay, what I, what I had in mind was I was gonna try to cut that little thing off. Let's see, where's my wire cutters? I didn't know if it was plastic or what it is, but it looks like it's metal. So I'm gonna attempt. Mm. I may not be able to. Oh, yes, I am. I don't know why that scares me every time. Okay, so I just clipped his little top part off. He didn't hurt him. There was no candy corn harmed in this craft, okay? They're okay. <laughs> How do you not love them? Love to eat them and look at it. I know. I I like candy corn. A lot of people don't. I just... We had some not too long ago and we were... That one went flying over that way somewhere. I should have on safety goggles or something. Okay. So, all I did was cut off those little loops on there. So let's see what we're gonna do to these little happy guys. See if I'm gonna put them somewhere. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put them down toward the bottom and make a cute bow. But yeah, these came from Walmart in the Halloween section. Everybody posted and said, oh, I don't have stuff like that at Walmart, my Walmart. And I went back today, cause I had to have some saran wrap and Walmart is literally I drive out of my neighborhood and the parking lot to Walmart's right there. And so it's really close. So we go, you know, if we need something, we just run over there and get it. And had to have some saran wrap or plastic wrap or whatever y'all call it. <laughs> Nancy, I knew that was gonna tickle y'all when I said, look at those reindeer, they're all sleeping. And then the ones on the shelf behind it, they were all standing up. Yes, it's the best, okay. All right, y'all look how cute this is. <laughs> They're originally supposed to be ornaments. Look at that one, he's sleeping or something. It says mini ornaments, but I just, I'm gonna do something else with them. Yes, we were eating candy. Crystal, we had candy uh, candy corn and peanuts and we had them in a bowl and they didn't, they my whole, between all my boys and my husband and me, it didn't last that day. Um, and my husband said, quit buying that stuff and bring it in the house <laughs> because that bowl was gone. It just tastes good together. And if you put M&Ms in with it, it's even better. Okay. So I did the same thing with my little stamp pad. I just kind of went all around the edges and gave it a little something extra. Isn't that cute? All right. So now... I got some orange fabric. Let's see what else I have out here. I don't think buffalo check's gonna look good with it. Dots and dots. I don't have any. Oh, yellow. No, here we go. You have your brain going in a million directions. Good. I'm glad. That's what I want to do. Y'all make all kinds of stuff with. Just run with it. Go and make stuff. These jingle blocks are the best. This is my raffia on a roll. It does not cause stress at all. <laughs> it's just straight and it's paper raffia and it's wonderful. All right, but I gotta grab my yellow. 
and it's right here. I didn't even have to get, get up and go for it. But the yellows don't match, but I gotta have a little bit. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Um, so yeah, if y'all, I know Facebook went through some, um, updates or something, and I see a lot of people saying that they have to turn their notifications back on for certain pages, so I don't know what, what that's all about. So I got that, and here's some more of that polka dot fabric I have. I just threw some little strips out here before I went live, and I got my little bundle of raffia, and I'm gonna tie that in the middle to match the dots on the little board we did. Hula skirts. Yes, Leslie. And by the time somebody told me that and I went back to the Dollar Tree to get some hula skirts, they were all sold out. They only had the green ones. Oh, you found it up at Goodwill on a roll? Awesome. But Nashville Wraps is where I bought this. And this is like 100, I don't know, 100 yards, 300 yards. It's a whole bunch for like $3. And it's, it's called Paper Raffia on their website. And it's awesome. Okay, so, so here's my little bundle. See, that matches the, the little paper. I'm going to trim it down a little bit. See how easy it is just to make some little things for your tear trays, your house. It's just, just sit down with a bunch of stuff in your stash and just start letting it go. Just let, it, let your mind just say, oh, and then we can do that, and then we can do that um, kind of thing. So I'm gonna glue it right in the center, I think. But these are little ornaments from Walmart. And I tell you, in the Christmas section, they have that little mini mini tree ornament page. Um, I mean page mini <laughs> the tree, the uh, mini ornament aisle at Walmart. And I've been stalking it because I keep waiting them for them to put some more out. And they had some, today, they had some little cross, little cross ornaments. And see, that's, I get that kind of stuff. And this is the kind of stuff that I do with it. It's miniature, and I love stuff that's really small. Nashville Wraps, that's where I buy this. It's on a roll. And they have every color under the rainbow. Green, red, white, brown, different colors of brown. Okay. That is. Doesn't that just look happy? How can you not look at that and not just think, be happy? That is so cute. So, anyway, so we have that, and then we have our spider. Look how cute. So far, we've just done Halloween, and then we made this, and we've made that. Look how cute. So, I got some a fall, some fall stuff, and some Halloween. And I'll if you want to screenshot it, here's your chance. <laughs> do, do, do. I, I screenshot all kinds of stuff, y'all. But I'll post a picture when I um when I get done. We'll post a picture. Okay, now let me see what I'm gonna do now. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I have. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I got something way over here. I need to get. Y'all, I got. Y'all, did y'all see these two at Walmart? Can't reach what I'm after. They had these two, and I'm, they're so cute. You could do the same thing, though. You could just glue those on something and put a little bow. Um, okay, I got this, but now i got to find what I'm, what's going to go on it. Okay, here we go. I'm telling y'all, i got mountains of stuff on this table. It's crazy. And then I have to put it all back up. All right, see these little, I get these too. These come from Target Dollar Spot for $3, and there are four of these in there, these little chalkboard signs. But you could do this with Jingle Blocks too. I just wanted to use these because I've had them, and they're little, just like that. Um, I've had them for a while, and these came from the fall stuff though. And then I have these. I don't know. I've, these were recent, but they're just white, but it's the same thing. It's like a little chalkboard, like place setting little thingies or something. So, um, 
So here's my little chalkboard. And then they have these. I don't know if y'all have a Target, but these are little wood cutouts. And yes, even though I could make my own, I still bought them. They never had those mini ornaments for Halloween. That's weird. So let's see. I'm going to do... I'm going to do the orange. Let's do the orange. They say thankful. And they're little bitty thin wood. Like, it's almost like balsa wood or something. I'm not sure. And then this one, no target close to me. I'm sorry, Heather. I used to be that way. And they have grateful. And they have them in white and the plain and the orange. So we're going to just, let's do thankful. I just love that orange color. So pretty. So I'm going to try to glue it on there without it getting anything on it. But this time I'm going to use, um, this is my favorite super glue gel. I get it from the Dollar Tree, two to a pack for a dollar. Um, if you buy any of my wood stuff and you want to know how to glue it all together, I tell you that in the instructions. But this is what I use because it doesn't run all over the place. And it gives you a few seconds of time to move stuff around. You know, you can kind of shift it before it actually just sets up. So it's awesome. And it's gel, so it just kind of sits there. It doesn't run out. Okay. So I just put a little bit of that on there. And then I'm just going to kind of drop it down there and let it set like that. And if I let it set there a few seconds, it'll, it'll get... Um, It'll set up and it's like quick, instantaneous. Adhesive. It has adhesive on the back. What? Where? It does. It says adhesive. <laughs> oh well. It's real permanent now. So, yeah. He's super glued on. Lee just didn't read. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that though. It was still hard to use on bless itty bitty knob. Yes, it is. I know it is. It's, but I, um, if you put tape, roll your tape, like inside out, you stick it to the table and then put your stuff on there and then you can do that or you can paint it that way too. Um, but yeah, it is hard. <laughs> Oh, you're going to do something for your tiered tray? Oh, I got one right here. Just going to burn the house down. I got so much stuff over here. And I already had this little bow I made for something I saved that was sitting over here with my ribbon. I just made it extra sticky. It's permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. But I did not know it was a, it was sticky. But see, it's already there. It's, and it kind of oozed out a little bit. But it's fine. But isn't that cute? So then I'm just going to take a little glue and glue this little bow right here on the corner. And just like that. Make it extra cute. But wouldn't that look cute on your little tear tray just all propped up like that? Um, and then they have these. They're adhesive. <laughs> So I have learned tonight they have a piece of on them. The tape method, yes. That's if, if I have to paint little letters like that, take your tape, roll it up where the sticky side's up, tape it to the table, curl it under, and then stick all the letters and then dab your paint on them and they'll be fine. That may, it's, a lot, it's a lot easier that way. Okay, so let's do, I like this blue green color up here. So they have gourds and they have, um, I think I'm going to, I'm on, so I got that. So I think I'm going to stick him like down here in the bottom, but let's, uh, let's get my little, my little paint pad thing, my stamp pad. Whoop. And we're going to go, I'm just going to kind of distress the edges a little bit. It just kind of makes it stand out. See, that just dresses it up a little bit. I know y'all can't barely see it. <laughs> it's so small. 
these are inexpensive too. Sometimes you can find them at Michael's in the little dollar up thing up front. So I'm gonna just put a little glue. Oh, I'm putting glue on it, guys. Y'all see me do that? But it's adhesive. Glad somebody told me that. I've been gluing them things on. <laughs> Look, that's cute. And that was all from Tar Target Dollar Spot, and I can make a whole bunch more. You could do them at your place settings at Thanksgiving if you make your if you make your table, if you fix your table all up with your dishes and stuff. You could lay them, you know, different ones in the plate, and that would be so cute. Isn't that just cute. Nothing to it. Easy peasy. So that's we've made several now. Let's see what else can we do. We'll do one more, and. I'm honestly just winging it. I promise y'all. I have no idea. I'm looking at all this stuff. Stuff, stuffs. Uh, I'm going to do something with this. Because I have not done a crap with these at all. Yeah, Timber. I'll go back. I'll try to go back and look at the comments. Um, it's hard, though, when there's like 2,000 comments. Yeah, everybody would have something to take home. That's right. So, I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to sand this glitter off. So, then I'll have glitter up to clean up tomorrow. Because this glitter is annoying. Whew. Look, even that sparkling. Can y'all see it? <laughs> I didn't get it all off, but I have to get rid of some of it. It's just everywhere. Now it's everywhere. Now I'm all, see how shiny? Can y'all see it glittering all over my hand? Whew. Okay, let's see. So I have these. These are table accents from Target Dollar Spot too. They were just a dollar. And they say, grateful, gather, and thankful. They're like little wood, little cardboard things. And I think I'm going to um, attempt Nope, leaving it on there. That sticker didn't want to come off and I don't have my heat gun because the heat gun will get it off. And I'm probably going to put some paper. Let's see what my choices of paper are. Put contact paper on the glitter side. That's a good idea. That glitter, I've got stuff, you know, those sides and stuff from, um, um, Dollar Tree that's got the glitter all over it. I still have them in the Dollar Tree bags because it's like, oh my gosh. I actually have some in my trunk. Good Lord, we could Target. I hear you, Nancy, with you. No Target. Sorry. Sorry. So I'm picking this paper. It's from Hobby Lobby because it, it kind of matches this cream color because I'm not, you know, I don't sit here and paint it and make y'all wait. <laughs> so it's to dry. So I'm going to cover up the glitter. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to trace over it. But stuff like this, just look at it, you know, when in a different way when you go to the store and you see stuff. Because you can always paint it. I'm the spray paint queen. I can spray paint a bunch of stuff. If you stand still long enough, I'll probably spray paint it or paint it. Because paint can do so much for stuff. Use Goo Gone for tea. Oh, yeah, they do have Goo Gone. And I never think to buy that. Yes, I love this paper too. As you can see, I have not used it yet. So I'm excited to get to use it. But I, I have several of these little pumpkins and I have not done a thing with them. I just can't, I couldn't come up with anything good to do. <laughs> My blue eyes look so pretty. Thank you. I have people that stop me in the store and tell, like when I'm somewhere and they'll tell me that and I'm like, Okay. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird when a stranger does it, but um, thank you. Or Gorilla Glue. Yeah, the Gorilla Glue it. Let's see. Oh, that's, that looks so much better already. we got to get rid of that gold stuff. That gold's just too much for me. Use a window scraper. Yes, I got to... If I had a window scraper on this table, it, it'd be crying for help because I'm telling you. There's stuff everywhere. I'm just gonna um 
Hi, glue it on. I got Mod Podge out, but you know what? Some people, some of us are just impatient, and I'm one of them. I am one of them. I'm not going to have it out in the Mississippi heat, so I think we're good to hot glue it on. They have sky blue eyes. Mine are just blue. They're not really sky blue. Up front. Yes, the these little things like this are all right. They used to call it Target Dollar Spot. But now, since it's not all a dollar, they call it... Um, Bully's Playground or something. It's got that little dog, the little dog with a spot on his eye. They got it up there up front with all that stuff. And that's the, that's the main reason I like to go to Target is the dollar spot. Okay, so I got these. Let me open them up. I know that paper crinkling is loud. Let's see what they look like. So see, they say, I guess they're, they're almost like coasters, but... Thankful. There's, a bunch of, there's grateful. I'm turning it the wrong way. Mailed my wood stuff. She might have drew me in. Oh, yes. <laughs> I drew. Nancy kept saying, when are you going to do the, um, do they call it Target Bullseye? Like, yeah, they call it Bully's Play, Bullseye's Playground or Bully or whatever his name is. There's Gather. And they have grateful and thankful. I'm going to do the gather. Um, so, yeah, Nancy kept saying, when are you going to do my cotton? When are you going to do my cotton? Because I was going to show them how to draw cotton or paint cotton. Yep, Kelly, that's me. I go in the dollar spot, and then I go check out, and I go right back out the door. <laughs> Only if Walmart would do it. Kroger, I don't know if y'all have a Kroger grocery store. Um but they, they have it now. They have like a little section right when you walk in that's got like one, two, three, and five dollar items. And some of it's little kids' toys, some of it's candle holders and little stuff. Um, so maybe Walmart will catch on to that and they will um, get on that bandwagon. Because I, you know, I'm all about a dollar something. <laughs> Nancy, you're so funny. But anyway, so Nancy wanted me to draw the cotton. Nancy Taylor in the comments. I know y'all see her. Um, she kept saying, when are you going to teach us how to paint cotton? When are you going to teach us how to paint cotton? So um, she ordered some wood stuff. And um, so on her little ticket, I always sign everybody's receipt. I sign everybody's. Um, I thank you and I sign it. And so uh, out beside hers, I drew her a little cotton bowl and I put, here's your cotton <laughs> on her ticket. Lord. And I said, Nancy, did you get your cotton? She goes, yeah, I got it. <laughs> See, that's all I did. I just added that to it. And that's so cute. But, you know, we could go a step further. But I don't know if I could get it to stay. And put some jute around there. I'm itching to put something around there. Every time I go, they, I know Sonia. And that's the way it is a lot of the times when I go. It'll just be completely empty. And especially for people that could only go like once and then they don't go a while, you know, they're out of town or whatever. Um, it's kind of disheartening when they don't have it all. But I, where I worked or used to work, um, I was right down the street from Target. So I would go quite a bit just to see what they had out. And I haven't been in a while. Because they haven't started putting Christmas out. But when they start putting Christmas stuff out, and then I'll go back. But yeah, it gets scarfed up pretty pretty regularly. I think the lady that used to stock, um, stock all the stuff at the one I went to, I think that was probably her full-time job. Because every time I went in there, she was either straightening it or she was putting new stuff out. It was the same lady. <laughs> So, gosh, this must be her full-time job is just to do the, the target spot or whatever. Like, Bullseye's, whatever his name is. Bully's Plate. I don't know. Bully, Bullseye, something about something. Got a little dog. <laughs> okay. I'm just kind of hot glowing every once in a while. I want to be an elf, too. You're going to be an elf? Oh, what, to come help me and be an elf? Yeah. I need some elves. 
trying to get my oldest, my oldest, my youngest son to help me today. He's like, I'll come down in a little bit. Do you see him? Because he ain't come down here yet and done anything. <laughs> Well, you're welcome, Gail. I just like coming in here and piddling and not really knowing what I'm going to do. Kind of an idea, but not just to have it all just planned out. Y'all can't even really see the jute, but I can see it. It added just a little something, something to it. But I don't know about this little bow up here. I might have to fix it but I don't know what to fix it with. I may have to just get me some. No. Nope. Believe it or not, Mr. Raffia, what about these? She told you when she worked hard, they don't pull it all out at once because it'd be gone in one day. Oh, I believe it. I know. I know for a fact that's true. Because it's, uh, they should just get more of it out of it and then put it all out every day. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. A lot. That's what the last time I did this at 4th of July, everybody liked it. When we just make a bunch of little stuff and not just one thing, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. Yeah, my burn is getting better. I just put that on there. Put a little jute on there. A button. Yeah, I could put a button. These are from Dollar Tree, too. <laughs> Where are you going, Nancy? Where are you and y'all planning on going somewhere? You love my ideas and how quick my I am. Thank you. I tried. I, I know y'all are, you know, I hate watching somebody and they're taking 10 days to do something. But, you know, sometimes it's, um, it's live. So, sometimes it's. It doesn't come together as fast as you want it to. And then you're like, oh. So, okay. I got to show y'all one idea, though, real quick. But isn't that cute? That's just one of them little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And you could you could do your own gather. You could go on internet and print off something or type out gather or whatever. And, um, oh, they're planning on coming to my dollar bush in here. Come on, y'all come on. I'll put y'all to work too. Okay, so let me show y'all something I tried a while back and didn't come out like I wanted it to. Pool noodles. This is my idea, pool noodles. And um, my idea was, you know how people are taking the toilet paper rolls and they they put the fabric around it and they stuff it down in the hole? You're bringing your craft card. Are you going to drive it, Nancy? Um, anyway, so what I... This is what I had all planned out to do. And I think I'm going to try to make it better tonight. Okay, so I cut out. This is a shirt from the Goodwill. Um, I need to do it once a week. Oh, cool. Okay, so I cut out a circle. So what I figured out was you got to cut your circle big enough for you to lay it down in all directions. And it will still be taller than your piece but I think I'm going to actually cut this one smaller because we're going to do something else to it and get this to cut so if you just get just a serrated knife or something it'll just cut right through that pool noodle and I know they got them out because they had them in Halloween colors why do you need pool noodles in Halloween colors I don't know so when I do it, and then you're going to take your fabric, and of course, y'all know the drill. You poke it down in the hole like this, and it makes a pumpkin. And of course, that's all gathered up fat in the back, but anyway. Well, that don't look too bad, actually. So you make this little pumpkin. But my thing was, is it was too, it wasn't, it looked too, like, cylinder, add batting. Well, that's what I was going to do, but, you know, I got this paper towel that's all strong out of the roll. Oh, everybody's crafting, so they put out more pool noodles. So, I'm going to, instead of batting, we're just going to use what we have, and I'm going to use the paper towels and see if I, a plastic knife will cut in a hurry. Oh, that's a good tip. I just always keep, I have a kitchen knife over here I might use for certain things. I might stab somebody if they try to come get my scissors or something, but, uh... <laughs> 
No, I'm not going to stab anybody. Um, to make creepy candies. I'm just going to put some hot glue on my paper towel. And a cloth. Yes, a cloth napkin and toilet paper. Halloween color pole nails to make candlesticks. Oh, now that's kind of cool. Candles out of... Oh. So, oh, y'all, that was hot. They're making candies out of the Halloween color. Oh, and they wrap it like in the cellophane stuff. Is that what they're doing with it? That is too cool. Okay, so I'm going to stick it down in there and see if this will work. Maybe if I do it that. I had to give it a little fatness or something because it looked like it was too... I see people on videos do them toilet paper rolls and they just stick it all in there and they don't do anything to the outside. It doesn't look bad. But it just didn't look round enough. So look, it's like a little... He looks a little more fluffy. You probably could add some more and he would be fine. Now my big stick has done falling. Do y'all do this? I pick up, I'm picking up this with my foot. <laughs> it's my stick. It's my stick. It fell. And I can't break it. There it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick out of my yard. Maybe too long, but I'm going to try to stick it down in there. See if it'll go. <laughs> Y'all laughing at me popping that stick. Okay. I don't think he's going in. I don't think it needs any glue. Look how cute. Dollar Tree craft page. See the candlesticks. Okay, I'll have to. They have a page? The Dollar Tree, like the crafting page or like the Dollar Tree page? You use a Dollar Tree grabber in your craft. I need to get one of them. I don't have that in here. I don't have a Dollar Tree grabber. Let's see. Let's make a... Grocery or... Okay, grocery bags or Walmart bags. That's a good idea. Put a stick, leaves, and a tendril. I'm going to make us a little bow. Y'all know how to make these, right? Just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Do you feel like it's enough? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on some of those Dollar Tree crafting pages. Crafting takes up my whole Facebook. <laughs> okay. Because I got lots of friends and then all the Dollar Tree pages and have to see what everybody's doing on my, on my other crafting friends. Post it on the crafting page. On their website. Oh, they have a crafting section on their website? That's cool. I did not know that. Okay. I know some stuff people come up with is just like, it blows my mind. It takes up yours too. Mine too. Okay. I even left enough, I think, to tie. That would be good. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of bunch this out. But yeah, you have to order in multiples. That's the only thing about ordering from them. But I also have seen too that you can order stuff from the Dollar Tree and then take the other stuff back to the store that you don't use. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know. But I don't see, um, I don't see why they wouldn't take it back. I don't know if he needs a bow or not, but we're going to make him one. Let's see. I'm just piddling. Okay, I gotta look up these candlesticks. Yours don't take returns? Or they just do a credit? Maybe? Is that what they do? I wouldn't know because I've never returned anything to Dollar Tree. Because, you know, I'm just like, well, it was a dollar. Oh, well. There's our little pumpkin. Kind of looks like too much to me, but I don't know if I like that or not. You cannot return something if it's not what you want. Huh. Hmm. As long as it's in season. See, I, I thought I've seen somewhere where they, um, somebody said you could take it all back. Like if you bought a case, 
and you only wanted like four out of the whole case. I don't know if that's, that seems like it's too much on there. So I don't know. I know, let's we'll see. I'm trying to figure out what I got to make a leaf. I need a leaf for instead of the pick and pack. Yeah, and it's not on everything though, is it? You're tight with your DT manager. See, Heather, you got me beat because I'm not even tight with the DT manager. Even though they know me when I go in there, the one that's not far from my house, I'm not uh, tight with them. <laughs> you got me beat. I should be. I go in there and the, there's a lady that works the cash register. She's like, what you making now? <laughs> and I'll tell her and I'm like, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And she's like, oh my gosh, girl, that's going to be so cute. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you need to go follow my page. You'll see. Okay, I just put a little leaf on it, and I don't know where from the life of me where my tendrils are. I've got some somewhere on this cart that are already made. And I just made a little, I just cut out a little burlap leaf and put on him. But there's your pool noodles. Y'all can do that with pool noodles. Okay, so we'll do a recap. I think this one's my fave. The little candy corns. Multitasking, you can read, talk, craft, talk. <laughs> it's not hard. And then there's that one. So we got all kinds of little fun stuff. And our little pumpkin that I showed y'all how to make. Only store credit. See, I thought that I thought I've seen a sign that says they only give you credit. And then our little our little um, spider. See, I have the calendar out here, and I was going to put a piece of the calendar on here, but I didn't. I just didn't. Sign the thankful and send it to you, please. <laughs> I have to make another one. And then there's our little pumpkin. See if you use, like, a little Coca-Cola, um, little, little plastic bottle caps, and put in there, he would look even more 3D than he does. Or you could take those little styrofoam ones from the Dollar Tree, the little ones, and cut them in half and you could stick them in there. But you can make, you can even turn it this way and put you a couple of little pumpkins in there. So many cuties tonight. I know, and I've got, I've got other stuff up here too that I could do. I may just have to wait and do a whole nother segment Friday night. Kind of like last week, we did the, the rusty pumpkins and then we did the patina pumpkins. Um, so yeah, so I just, Jingle box, and my little my little pumpkin, and then the precious little ornaments from Walmart. Aren't they cute? And then the little thankful sign, and then my pool noodle. <laughs> so y'all got any? Y'all gonna be going out in the yard and getting your um um kids pool noodles and cutting them up <laughs> and making little bitty pumpkins with them? Do one more. Encore, encore. Okay, I might do one more. And there's our little spider with our little... I just love it how he's fat. <laughs> but you could use buttons. One more. One more. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm thinking. Okay, we'll do one more. Let's see. i got so much out here, y'all. It's... um. The potato pumpkins. What? Potato pumpkins? <laughs> Who said potato pumpkins? Okay, I'm doing one more. A pregnant spider. Yeah, it's like one of them big fat bellied, um, little fat bellied, uh, spiders. Look at him. <laughs> oh, thank you, Heather. I'm, okay, I'm doing one more. Just trying to think of what I'm going to do. So these are my jingle blocks. Oop. Jingle Blocks again. That's just easy. It gives you a little um, heading for Jingle Blocks tomorrow, Colleen. You go ahead. You just post them in the group now. I want to see them. Because I know there's going to be a whole bunch of good good stuff. Yeah, Sandy, I put it all together. I know. A lot of people are having trouble with adding stuff in the cart. And I've got to call Shopify or something and talk to them. You can't come up with anything original. 
Well, if you'll look at Pinterest enough, then you kind of take, well, I can take that idea and I can marry it with this idea over here. <laughs> with, yeah, Lori, with five gazillion babies. What is a spider made of? He is a spl one of those little split balls like this. He's that. I could have put a, I could have done a baby one over here next to it like that. Should have put a baby one on there. <laughs> um, yes, Andy, I try to look because some people, and it's fine because, you know, shipping's free, so it doesn't matter how many orders you do. Um, but I try to go through and look and make sure because um, sometimes people will do that. I'm going to wipe that glue off. Okay. All right, let's see, Heather. What am I going to do? Mm, I got scrapbook paper. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's use this orange because I know what I'm going to, I think I know what I'm going to put on him. Cut it out and let's see what we can do with this. So yeah, I hope y'all's wheels are turning and y'all can do all kinds of, um, thank you, Nancy. Y'all got all kinds of ideas of what y'all are going to do. Can I hold up my blocks again? The box? These are, somebody said they have them at Walmart like this. And I haven't ever looked. But, um, buy below, Dollar General, um, places like that. Look at Goodwill. People, people give them to the Goodwill all the time. Let's see. This is a lot of fun. I like doing this kind of, this kind of crafting because... I'm kind of just shooting from the hip, actually. Oh, you're fine, Shelly. You can always watch the replay. We made a bunch of cute little things for, like, tiered trays and stuff. And I'm probably the only person that has hot glued paper down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're fine, Shelly. Good, Lori. I hope y'all just run with it. Okay. So, I have these. These little guys, I think I'm going to um, put a little ghosty on there. Let's see. Um, I never found the fall ones like this. Did they have them this year? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? They had the pumpkins and all that. I never saw them, and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for them, and I never saw them. These have all fallen down to the bottom. I think I'm going to use him. Amanda, I might make a little bitty tiered tray Friday night. A little one. You need the leopard pumpkin behind me. That, yeah, that was a, pla a placemat. Um, but look what I got out here on the table while you, since you said that. And I haven't used it yet. Um, you can put that on one of those Dollar Tree pumpkins. Let's see, where's my white paint? Oh, yeah, you'll have to watch the replay. It's fine. We just made a bunch of little stuff. And hang on. I got to get a makeup sponge. Okay, so let me show y'all the tape trick. Where's my tape? Here it is. Okay, yeah, I have Christmas ones too. But they have, I didn't see them this year. I got them last year. Okay, so if you're painting something little like this, and I should have done it earlier, and I didn't think about it. But if you'll take your tape, and you'll roll the ends under, so the sticky side is up, and stick it to the table. Roll them under, so it's like that. And then place your little, whatever you're painting down on the table, on the tape. And then, um, I'll get my little makeup sponge with my little paint, and I'll just dab away on it. And there it doesn't move. It's not going to flip around. And it just helps a lot. Especially if you got a bunch of little bitties. Things to paint. Like that comes with my little sets. Hey Kay. Okay. Let's see. So I got my little ghosty painted. He's all white. There he is. He's on the tape. Found a leopard pillowcase at Goodwill for 75 cents. There you go. Yes, I bet they did love it too. The, the leopard print is is a lot of fun and different. 
You never saw the Halloween ones? It had the, they're all falling off the little card, but it's ghosts and pumpkins in a bat and that kind of stuff. But I never saw the fall ones, and I was so disappointed. All right, let's, um, let me trim off my paper. I want to think about hot glue and the paper on is that I can't sand the edges like I would if I had Mod Podged it. But we're just trying to be time purposeful, purpose, purpose, uh, what am I trying to say? For time purposes, that's what we're doing. Let's see, do I wanna do this? I think I'm changing my mind, hold on. Yes, I'm doing this. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Let me move my ghosty before he gets on something. So I'm just gonna take some of this. It's Buffalo Check ribbon from Michaels. At one time, they had these little bitty rolls for 99 cents, so that's when I go buy them usually is when they're 99 cents. They only do it every once in a while. And I'll buy about three or four rolls because I'll use it. Sharpie marker. Oh, the legs on the spider. I drew them on with a Sharpie. Just made little, little L's or backwards L's. You wish you knew that trick this morning before you did your... Oh. Okay. When you painted it, I know I need to, I'm seriously thinking about doing a new group, like a private group or whatever, and doing just videos of me, um, like pre-recorded or something of me painting all those sets because so many people ask me, how do you paint this or what color do I need to paint that? So I got that on there. And then, um, I don't know, I, I had thought about it. And I should have painted the edges of this, but it's all good. It'll be all good. So you'd never know this was Jingle Blops. But see how many crafts you can get out of that one box? I've had that box for a while. Um, and y'all saw the snowman ones that I've done. So I got that. See, that just kind of dressed it up a little bit. You can see the little waviness where the where the um, hot glue is, but it'll be okay. I think I'm gonna put him to the side. I pulled off the little sticker on the back. Trish, I'm gonna, I've made the pizza pan one, but I'm gonna make one, um, I'll probably make it Friday night since we're kind of on this roll with the tiered tray stuff, we may just continue it on. Okay. I'm not gonna show y'all yet what I'm gonna write, but I know y'all know. Even though I can't write pretty. Try to make it pretty. Okay. I need a, I need a spot for my exclamation point and I don't have it. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just made the, the sides of them fatter to make it look a little more fancy. Cause I have terrible handwriting. Look how stinking cute he is. I think I'm gonna go around his eyes and his mouth. That really didn't do much, but I tried to outline his eyes and his mouth. Oh, the thing up there, hang on and I'll show it to y'all. The ribbed part, yeah, it's the ribbed part of the cardboard, um, Cardboard, I take the outside layer off. Let's see. Still gonna do this though. I should have done it to the edges of my ghost and he would have looked a lot cuter. Yay! That one's just for you, Heather, since you asked me. For one more, one more. Look how cute. See? Okay, so somebody wanted to know about the cardboard. And I am sweating, guys. When I shut the door in this room, it gets hot in here. 
This morning I was freezing. Let's see. So if you take your cardboard, whew, <laughs> I'm sweating. If you take your cardboard and just pull back. Some cardboard won't do it though. This one should. When you pull back just that part, you have that that. And so, um, yeah, I could use the boo from my tear tray. I could. Let's see. So, so see, that's what this is. It's just that cardboard off of Amazon box, probably. And then this is the cookie sheet. And this was a placemat from um, Hobby Lobby. And this is the just a, a canvas. And I took the canvas and reversed it. Y'all know y'all seen that. And then I painted it, the background to look like shiplap. And then I just cut them out. I just cut out circles like pumpkins. Wet the cardboard. Okay, Sharice, it'll come off easier. Okay, Becky, I'm going to show y'all what I did. But there's that for y'all that was asking. Oh, spray cardboard with water. It peels right off. Y'all are so smart. I'm going to make it fall, watch, because the easel makes it up too high. That's a good tip. That is a good tip. Okay. So there's one, and that's the jingle blocks. So I, if I was doing it, you know, I would finish the back, but I know y'all are watching. And then um, here is the little um, thing from Target and the little Target stickers that I didn't know were stickers until somebody told me. <laughs> See, that's what I have y'all for. Y'all told me it was stickers. And then my favorite, the candy corn ornament from Walmart. Aren't they so cute? I hate y'all can't get them. Oh, uh, thank you, Kay. Look at, there's that. And then the Jingle Block pumpkins that I showed y'all. And I got a whole little stuff, bunch of stuff in the little shadow box we did with the Jingle Blocks and the Amazon box. <laughs> and the little, it's got a little stick. And then I'll put a little, one piece of raffia and some moss. Isn't that cute? And just to set around or just to give somebody, if you're doing like a little basket for somebody with something. I mean, these just make such cute little things. Or like somebody said, you can put magnets on the back and put them on your refrigerator. Isn't that cute? I know, Trish. I don't know. Nobody has said they have seen these. And my Walmart had them. Um, here is the little card they came on. They are over there. They're in all the costumes. But they, um, they had little gnomes. I still have those. Um, show the pumpkin blocks again. Oh, this. That's the, that's the design. And there's a pre-recorded video on my page if you want to go see it. And it shows you overhead how I did it. Thank you, Kim. Y'all are so sweet to me. So there's that. So all of our little goodies, and I'll take a picture of them all and post them probably tomorrow. But that's just so simple, guys. And you, and even if you don't have the scribal letters, you could have just wrote eek on there with a the black marker like I did this one. Because y'all probably write better than I do. You, they're in the costume section. Like the aisles, mine has it up front, and they're like, they have the costumes, and they'll have some candy. And then they have like all the cake decorating stuff for Halloween. And then they had an aisle of like, of all that stuff. They had little ornaments, little balls, and little garlands and all that stuff. That's where it was. It's up there with the, um, where the costumes are. Oh, the gather one. Yeah, where is that? I'm telling y'all, it's a hot mess up in here. Where is it? It's done, it's disappeared. Somebody, Nancy stole it. Oh, and then the pumpkin, the little pool noodle. That's a pool noodle in there. And then this, of course, that's the famous Dollar Tree pumpkin. And it's got like a little thing from Target Dollar Spot. And then I'll put some jute around it and our pool noodle. So y'all go get your kids pool noodles and start cutting them up and putting some fabric around them. <laughs> I just wrap paper towels, kind of make him a little fluffy. He looks better. They are treats for trick-or-treaters. 
All right, guys. Well, I know I've been on here. It feels like, I don't know, forever, but I love doing this kind of stuff. I love just kind of hodgepodging and just pulling from all different directions and putting stuff on there. And um, I've worn you out. <laughs> now your mind, you're going to go to bed and your mind's going to be working and thinking and what all the stuff that you can do. Um, that's what mine does. Mine never shuts off, I don't think. Um, I just have that creative just flows. And blame Nancy. <laughs> Best crafting night ever. Thank you, Lori. You're so sweet. Um, so we might do some more Friday night. I might just continue it on. But I do have like a, a little tiered tray set that I'm going to show y'all how to make. As stems for those chip and dip flowers. Chip and dip. Oh, yeah. The chip and dip platters with the things on the outside and the thing in the middle. That's cool. Now you'll dream about crafting. Well, that's a good dream. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Thank y'all very much. And I appreciate y'all watching. I was kind of worried because I was like, I'm just going to just shoot from the hip and just start doing something. Um, I look like your niece, Jenny. And um, people say all the time I look like somebody they know. I just must have twins. Um, can't wait till Friday. So, yeah, I'm going to think up some more um, for Friday. And then I'm going to do some... Uh, I'm a, I have a little tiered tray that I'm going to make. I was going to do that tonight and... I was like, no, wait. Um, you're going to go shop my store now, Tambra. <laughs> Sometimes those are the best. Yeah, they are. And the 4th of July one was fun. So that's why I decided to do this tonight. Because everybody kind of, you know, I like to make little stuff sometimes. I love miniature stuff. Um, and you can use just buttons and cardboard and whatever you have. Just use it. And it's. I mean, use what you got. You don't have to have a lot of expensive stuff from Hobby Lobby or whatever. I mean, this was mostly Dollar Tree, some Target. I mean, oh, thank you, Sheila. You're sweet. Thank you, Ida. Y'all are so sweet. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here. So, time Friday, please. It'll be the same time. It'll be 7.30 Central Time that I come on Friday. The thankful sign, yeah, they were the little, um, these. Adhesive, they're little wood pieces. And there's two white, two, um, white, two, t uh, the natural, and then they had the orange ones that I used that. Here's grateful. And they're adhesive, but I didn't know that until somebody told me. I think Heather told me. <laughs> You're welcome, Victoria. All right, guys, well, I'm going to hop off and go see what my family is doing. And I hope this inspired y'all. And I hope you dream about candy corns and uh, no spiders and crafts and what all you can do with making stuff for your little tear trays. So, um, can you show the owl? Oh, him? Rusty's back there, too. That owl. I did this one, and then there's a taller one. with He's got sweater arms. Um, oh, Jennifer, that's sweet. That's cool. Is that how you found me? That's cool. So I made one of those tonight. Um, 7.30 Central, Friday night, yes. But this was just a scrap piece of wood. And I just made little ovals for his wings and then put ears. And these are upside down hearts that were Valentine's Day little hearts from the Dollar Tree. And those are his feet. And these are hearts, too, that I cut the tips off. And then I used the tip of a heart there. You got your stuff to do, Rusty and Rosie. Good, good, good. So many people have done them and put them in the group, and I'm just blown away. Blown away. Here's, here's where I practiced. That's how I practiced, and I used this paint. That copper I told y'all about from Michaels, this stuff is awesome. And it's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. And then that's how I practiced the patina on that on that piece of wood. And then I just, I stuck me a stem on there. And I said, well, that's going to be a little rusty pumpkin. You don't want to miss it, Lori. <laughs> You're so sweet. Be there or be square. That's right. Words are from Target. Yes, these little, these little words are from Target. Oh. Thank you, Heather. You're so sweet. So anyway, so yeah, we'll come back Friday night. I'll probably, I'll think up some more stuff to do. And um, 
Oh, Ray, you're so sweet. Well, I keep hope you keep coming back. And like I said, 7.30 Central Time Friday night, I will be here. And we'll be making stuff. So, um, if y'all are in the way of the hurricane, I'll be praying for everybody that's in the path that's coming. So, hopefully it won't. Um, hopefully it's going to simmer down some before it, it comes to us. Or the coast or the U.S. or what do you want to say? Oh, you're happy to say, I'm still on, Dana. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. Yes, I can tell, Trish. I could talk to y'all all night. My husband's be like, my gosh, what in the world were you doing? Oh, good, you're a newbie too. Is it slow? Slow jam. Okay. Slow jam. All right, guys, I'm hopping off. I will see y'all Friday night, 7.30, same place, same time. See y'all then. Bye, guys. <laughs>